For as long as I can remember, I always wanted to take a ride on a Goodyear blimp. Settle up, we'll come forward to the front of the ship, and I'm gonna load you two at a time, but I'm gonna stagger you a little bit. That way we can get two people on, and then two people off, and two people on, two people off. That way it doesn't get light and float away. Uh -huh. Jeff, I'll get you. Yeah, good. This has like been my, on my bucket list. As I'm making my way up the stairs, I'm thinking, don't float away now. Well, I'm thinking that it's a little loud, and we haven't even lifted off yet, and we're kind of jostling. This is really unlike any airplane ride I've ever taken, because it's a blimp. Here we go, up, up, and away. <laughs> Kind of feels like a roller coaster so far. It's like being in a mixture of a helicopter and an airplane that moves super slowly. The funny thing is, you still have seat back tray tables. Even on a blimp. It's such a weird flying experience. We're going so slow. Welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, you're all welcome to take off your seatbelts now and roll around the cabin. Just know it is like a boat on the ocean, so treat to grab the back of the seats for stability or the handrails up above are good for stability as well. I've been spotting pictures out this window here. There's also a window open in the back. The windows themselves put off a bit of glare and they're also tinted so you might not get the same picture quality as you would if you had it out the window. It's kind of cool that they're actually the windows are actually open and the air's coming in. <laughs> Got to stick my head out the window, you know, checked out a lavatory on a blimp. It's gonna be fun. That was fun.
Well, it was a wild ride on Wingfoot 3, the newest airship and the last of the modern fleet by the Goodyear Company. And as you can see, it's still up there flying. I'm Mark Earhart, 89.7 WKSU.